So I want to talk briefly today about Vanillaware's next project, 13 Sentinels. Uh, I might not be the most, you know, prominent video game YouTube analyst guy, but uh, I do spend a lot of time uh, analyzing uh, Vanillaware, and in the past I've made some pretty decent calls regarding, uh, you know, the Vanillaware uh, menu art. I cracked the code on that, revealing that it was actually a map of their current and future titles. And uh, I also was able to predict that Vanillaware's next game was going to be science fiction. So uh, I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on uh, guessing where Vanillaware is going to go uh, with some of their products. So uh, I'm hoping that I'm correct on this as well. After two years, we still have no clarity on what kind of game 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is. I believe by analyzing the two trailers we've seen, which are similar but not quite the same, uh, I think we can make some reasonable inferences. So let's compare the 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim 2015 TGS trailer and the E3 2017 updated trailer and see what we can glean from them. So first let's talk about the title, uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, which invokes thoughts of Pacific Rim. The original title is Jusanki Heiboeken, uh, which comes out something like 13 Armored Unit Defense Perimeter. Uh, it gives me the impression that the Sentinels, aptly named, are defending Japan, their defense perimeter, uh, from some kind of exterior threat. So first, when we compare scenes from the English and Japanese trailer, we get an idea of how the animations are being improved. So the framing of some of the scenes is different, character positions have moved, uh, there's extra polish on the characters themselves. Uh, we also get a taste of some of the 3D work I suspect they've been doing for this game since a few of the Vanillaware artists on Twitter, uh, such as Takahiro Shiga, have been seen dabbling in 3D at various points. I don't know if that's related to the game or if it's just related to their personal career advancement. I don't know, but you know we can, uh, you know we can do some conjecture. So, watching the trailers, we can get a sense of isolation as there's no other NPCs or characters visible in the environments. Uh, a looming sense of despair, an end to ordinary life, that day marked our fall. A decision was left to us, our first and final location, 13 people will cross paths. Now, from this text we get a sense of tragedy and isolation, like something terrible has happened to Japan. In the original trailer, this was a little bit more ambiguous because all of the city environments they show uh, are whole, they're undamaged, although they are empty. In the E3 trailer, they actually show destruction of the urban environment uh, for the first time, so we get a better sense of what could have possibly happened. Uh, I mean, is it aliens, war, social collapse, disease, all of these things? I personally believe that it's a human war we're dealing with because of this original frame uh, from the TGS trailer that shows what appears to be conventional missiles being used against one of the Sentinels. So I could be wrong about this, and uh, it is changed in the 2017 trailer. So, uh, I mean, there's not a lot we can infer from this uh, without going into sort of the realm of complete conjecture. But, uh, you know, it's something to pay attention to. So who are the kids? Uh, are they survivors of some kind of military siege or cataclysm? Are they part of some academy or education program for mech pilots? If you look closely at the teaser image here of mech schematics, you can see a couple of hidden things, such as the Cerebrate uh, or Cerebrate 2 link system, which could imply that, like in Pacific Rim, the robots are piloted by two people at once. I don't necessarily believe this is the case for 13 Sentinels. It could just be, you know, a simple reference. Uh, but it also could be the case that Iori and Juro, our two primary main characters, uh, are the ones who will be piloting a Sentinel together. And so here's an interesting problem. We have yet to see the kids actually inside the machines or wearing any kind of pilot suit or engaging in warfare of any kind. The trailers are framed in such a way that makes the kids look like observers to the Sentinels rather than participants in whatever battle is taking place. So are the kids part of some kind of detection system? Do they not pilot the mechs from inside but via remote control? Uh, is there a special reason for them to be mech pilots or are they simply the only ones left uh, in the world we see? Uh, another remark I saw about 13 Sentinels uh, is that Vanillaware is drifting away from certain aspects of their usual visual style, uh, noting the very normal looking uh, characters in the game. Now, if you have played all the Vanillaware titles, you'll have noticed by now that they never sexualize any of the characters that could be considered minors. 
uh, you know, for example, uh, Mercedes in Odin Sphere. However, if you've paid attention to the trailer, you can get a peek of some of the uh, some of what many of us expect from Vanillaware. Uh, yes, right there. Related note, uh, is the sensei lady uh, the student's regular school teacher? Is she their piloting coach? Is she just an NPC? Uh, the questions really burn here. Uh, she's only one of two adults that have appeared in any of the game's uh, videos or screenshots so far. Uh, the other is this police officer here that's seen with this other delinquent. Uh, I have a few guesses on what 13 Sentinels will be. It could be a Cybernator-esque side-scrolling mech shooter. It could also be a front mission sort of tactics game where we're using mech units, the Sentinels of the title, piloted by the 13 characters, to defend uh, Japan from this exterior threat or whatever our perimeter is. Uh, and those are my two best guesses. Uh, I'm totally open to to any conjecture you guys have at all because at this point the you know it's still it's still pretty vague, um, and I hope that I hope I can publish this just in time for TGS uh, that's coming up in a couple weeks so we should get some answers there maybe if you know I'm I'm hoping. Um, anyways, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, I just hope I got your noggin jogging a little bit and. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more as uh, more information comes out. If you guys don't know anything about me, you don't know that I'm fucking obsessed with Vanillaware and uh, I spend like most of the day thinking about it. So um, anyways, yeah, so uh, keep your eyes and ears open and uh, let me know what you guys think.